Hi, it's Darren uh, with our next move. Yeah, it's a really beautiful, beautiful Sunday uh, afternoon here in Port Orchard, Washington. It's nice and sunny. It's probably uh, close to 60 degrees. It's clear. The sky is blue. Uh, and I decided I had to run to the office real quick. I know it's Sunday, but I just had to stop in and, and do a quick thing there. And as I'm commuting back home, uh, I started thinking about uh, something I mentioned to you guys yesterday, uh, or at least in a recent video. Uh, and that was, uh, you know, whenever I went, if you guys recall, you know, whenever I went shopping, uh, and Noya was always with me, so it wasn't really a big deal, but whenever I went shopping and stuff, uh, you know, I'd look at a, I'd pick up a product off the shelf that I might have been interested, you know, that I was perhaps interested in buying. And everything is in Thai. I couldn't, you know, I, I couldn't read anything. Um, which, and that's expected. I mean, uh, you're in a foreign country, and so English is not the primary language. Uh, it's Thai. And so everything, for the most part, is in Thai. Well, that got me thinking. Uh, the, the other thing is, while I was in uh, Thailand recently, uh, you know, I, like you, you guys are aware of the fact that I just came back not too long ago. I, you know, I married Noi while I was there. But anyway, uh, during during my visit there, there was one day where we had a very large family gathering with uh, Noi's family. It was over at her uncle and aunt's house, uh, not too far from uh, Noi's place over there in Chiang Mai. And there was probably about 15 people, roughly, that... Uh, showed up for the gathering it was really just to get together I think part of it was uh, to entertain me and give me a chance to meet some of her family members which was awesome by the way uh, they're such great great people and I, they made me feel so welcome uh, and loved but anyway what, what it, one of the things that was uh, a little frustrating is that I couldn't talk to anybody you know I'm sitting there uh, listening to everybody speak Thai and I was so uh, I had such a strong desire to engage in conversation with them but I just you know I don't understand what they're saying and you know they're not being rude or anything they just they don't speak English most of them matter of fact all of them didn't speak a hint of, of English uh, so I really could only talk to uh, Noi but fortunately her uncle uh who's Thai also, uh, he lived in Oklahoma for uh, a few years. And so while he was there, he, he, he picked up some English. And so he could speak a little bit of English. Uh, and so I spent most of the time just talking to Noi uh, and, and, and her uncle. Uh, and then just kind of listening to the various conversations that were taking place, despite the fact that I didn't understand a word they were saying. So that's one of the things I'm going to have to have to get used to, uh, you know. And it's I kind of felt a little bit like not really an outcast. I just felt like I wasn't uh, as included in the party as I would have liked to have been. And again, they weren't being rude. It's just that they don't speak English. English, so uh, you know, that's just my feeling, my thoughts. I know that wasn't truly the case. Uh, but that's one of the things I'm gonna have to get used to. You know, I married into a Thai family, uh, and so uh, I'm just gonna have to deal with it. And, you know, one of the things I did do recently, I think I also mentioned this in a recent video, is that uh, I enrolled in an online uh, Thai language course. It's about 160 bucks, Thai Pod 101, uh, and it's a great great series of courses uh, but you know it, even the basic basic entry-level lesson one course in my opinion was still quite difficult I'm really gonna have to work at it but you know Noi was telling me uh, just recently that once I moved to Thailand uh, and I listened 
to Thai people talk and watch Thai television and watch listen to the uh, Thai radio stations by default I'm going to start to pick up uh, on some of the language there and so and Noy said she's also going to try to uh, not only help me with the, the online course with respect to studying uh, but she's going to try to talk to me in Thai uh, you know on occasion around the house and stuff like that Anyway, just wanted to pop in uh, and let you know what I was thinking about here um, th uh, this morning. Uh, I'm really looking forward to my move. Uh, my it, Here we are, April 24th, getting to Sunday. I, I do have a project, or excuse me, a projected star, uh, target departure date of June 1st I moved it up now it was July 1st I moved it up to June 1st because uh, I'm really making some progress with selling all my worldly possessions uh, and that was really the really was the, the big thing for me was getting uh, getting all my stuff sold so anyway just my thoughts wanted to chime in have a great day again I'm Darren with our next move Take care. Saudi Khan.